Good morning. My name is Odie Perkins, and I'm from Welcome, North Carolina. Did you know that Mitt Romney isn't perfect? The media has done an outstanding job destroying Mitt Romney. He can't do anything right. The Libya media has decided that they're going to put Obama back in the White House no matter what. Number one, they don't, the, the, Libya, the li, liberal media does not care about our economy. That's number one. Number two, the liberal media doesn't care about what's going over, over, over in the Middle East. They're just firing it up. And they're just showing more and more about the Muslims protesting. It's okay for the Muslims to take our wonderful flag, or Israel's flag, or any other nation's flag, and burn it. But if I took a Muslim flag, and I burned it, and I stomped it, and I said that Muhammad, or whoever his name is, could go to hell, what would they do to me? They'd be angry. You know what? Let me tell you Muslims something. I lost my son. He fought for you. He fought in Iraq. He fought in Afghanistan. He was in the U.S. Army 82nd Airborne. And <clears throat> he's in heaven now. But he fought for your freedom. What did the liberal media do? Not one thing. They've never, never wanted someone, not a Republican, not a Democrat, they've never wanted a man, a businessman, in the White House because they do not want it corrected. Until we get someone like that, America is headed for destruction. You know what? You can tell me they're not. You, I have not every one, one time. I've never drawn uh, any kind of check of disability. I've never drawn an unemployment check. I've never drawn any kind of check. All I've ever done is work my ass off all of my life. So if you want to vote for Obama, and I'm from the South, I'm proud of it, but I do at least know what businesses are supposed to be run, run, run like because I work for some of the finest people in the world. But if you keep on believing all this bullshit that Obama and the class warfare that he's putting out there, every one, every last one of you, whether you're educated or not, you are ignorant and you're being deceived. Mitt Romney is going to make mistakes. Obama has done so many things. Nancy Pelosi said, you know what? We got to pass this damn Obamacare bill before we know what's in it. Now, if that's not stupid, that's ignorant. And Obama gets up, and I've listened to the River Wright tapes. Let me tell you something, Republicans. You need to listen to those reverent right tapes. They talk about Hillary Clinton like a dog. He does. Like a dog. But you know what? I'm just an ordinary citizen. That's all I am. I'm not rich. I'm not poor. But I don't have any money. And 
You know, God needed my son more than I did. But you go ahead. Vote the way you want to. You vote for Obama. Or you vote for Mitt Romney. But let me say one thing. I don't want to hear not one word out of anyone when the new president goes in for the second term in this economy or the crisis overseas in the Mideast or our ally that we have always been been there for us, Israel when all the whining and all the crying and all the bitching starts because we got a freaking mess and this little old, tiny video that they say started this well let me tell you something this is a video so let me tell all you radical Muslims, there is good Muslims all over the world. I want, I want to make sure I say that. But for all you radical Muslims, all you dumbass Muslims, all you Muslims, all you want to do is cause trouble, want to fight, want to hurt people, want to blow people up, want to be like gangs in the United States. You know what you can do? As Doc Holliday said, one of our western old cowboys, you can kiss my ass because I love America. I love what she stands for. God bless America and God we trust. And that's all I got to say.